Hey everyone, I'm Curtis Anderson here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I am taking part in the first ever paranormal investigation of the Western Development Museum's Curatorial Centre. Uh, I really don't know what to expect. I'm trying to pretend I'm not frightened, but right off the bat we have to sign a waiver. I voluntarily assume and acknowledge that the WDM facilities contain dangers and pose a risk of serious injury or death. Not a good way to start something like this. All right, let's back up and start at the beginning. I was asked to attend a late night paranormal investigation of the WDM Curatorial Center, which is a fancy word for a giant storage space. This facility houses all the Saskatchewan Museum's undisplayed historical artifacts. Yeah, it's a creepy place with the lights on, but when I signed up for this quote paranormal investigation, I figured it would be a candlelit tour of a bunch of old stuff with a few the phone call is coming from upstairs, get out of the house, ghost stories thrown in for good measure. What it was, was a behind the scenes look at a progress report of an ongoing investigation by the Saskatchewan Ghost Hunters Society, Inc. What? Saskatchewan has its own Ghost Hunters Society? Is this common knowledge? Alright, old stuff is creepy, yes. But is it a little presumptuous to assume that their souls stuck here in the curatorial center just because they can't let go of their possessions? Even in school, we did get, there was a little instruction about we're dealing with old things that are tied to old stories and sometimes there's still things associated to it or are tied to it that you can't explain. Uh, okay, 10 minutes in, I've already learned that there's a Saskatchewan Ghost Hunter Society and a museum school where you are taught that you will encounter unexplained phenomena. This is not a learning curve for me. This is a learning kick in the face. Our group loads up with all the gadgets, including the very important K2 meters, which is an elaborate EMF detector. First thing we do is we want to test them out. Putting an EMF detector up against a fuse box should make it go crazy, and it does. EMF detectors. Unbelievable. Apparently we're heading to the toy room first. Great. The toy room. Yeah, I'll just get out of the way here. <laughs> here we sat in the dark, waiting for the lights on the meter to spike. Waiting, everything, waiting, everything asking questions, okay. and nothing. Finally, after about 45 minutes, a couple of us decide to wander just a little bit deeper into the corners, and... Are you with us now, or are you just walking with us? That's pretty constant. We've had a solid orange. And I know what you're all thinking, but no, there was no control panel nearby. Trust me, there wasn't anything nearby. Nothing but toys. The stuff that they have here, it's it's history. You don't you don't see a lot of it anymore. So to be able just to be around it is isn't really neat. Uh, where I'd like to see this field go is mainstream science to actually get a better look at this, rather than uh, looking away from or just uh, simply uh, disregarding it as myth and legend. We just spent the last few hours in the dark at the WDM Curatorial Center. Was it haunted? Is it haunted? I don't know, but I, I will admit, when we were by the toy room and we were walking uh, through the dark corridor there and those lights started going off, I was more than a little freaked. So there it was, my first ghost hunting experience for Shaw in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I'm Curtis Anderson.